So just the, the unique uh, atmosphere, I guess, and uh, God bringing together the church to serve together. Uh, there were some great uh, ways to watch the church serve and uh, glorify the entire world. Mm -hmm. You know, you mentioned Henry in the uh, interview with uh, our young camper friend. Uh, just the chapel and the power of the blood song and stuff like that. So maybe for those that were, how many of you were not at Valley View Bible Camp this summer at all? Like got over there for a chapel? Anybody? Or most of you? Okay, so the few people that did not get over there. Um, maybe just describe for the people that were not there uh, singing in chapel. Is that, is that a fair question? Totally off the head, but <laughs> no, it's just a lot of, so Brian Schmidt is our, um, our, uh, programmers, and um, he's got lots of energy, and uh, we sing a lot of uh, gospel songs directly with the Bible, or um, the, the lyrics is scriptures directly with the Bible, we're just singing the truth, and uh, it just comes with a lot of energy, and uh, we, we find that uh, the campers sing these songs throughout the day wherever they are at skills or as they're walking on the property, they're singing these songs. And sometimes even we've done snow camp in the wintertime. And some of those campers have come back and they still sing those songs. And some of the complaints sometimes are is that we just can't get these stupid songs out of our heads. And, um, but those are the things that we actually say, if we can get it branded on their hearts um, and it's in their minds and it's, it's constant that um, the, the truth continue to go with them, but it does come with a lot of energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah it really does, and uh, yeah, if you ever get a chance, hopefully he's back next summer, because it's, um, I mean, he's got to sing into these tracks, and, and like Henry said, it's um, scripture put to music, or familiar gospel songs, like Power in the Blood, I mean, who would have thought that that would be a camp song, right? But uh, it was just interesting, you know, seeing, and, and he's crazy, I mean, he's just kind of like, just kind of racing across the stage, and, and just kind of, it's like, oh, this guy, you know, <laughs> Anyway, uh, but then to go to the skills later on, and these kids are sitting there singing, singing these songs that they just sang in chapel. It's kind of like, well, that's kind of unconventional chapels, like even, you know, by our mission standards or whatever. But man, like you said, it's been really uh, impressing it in their, in their minds and their hearts. And as they had a chance to sing these songs and think about the lyrics, you know, who knows what God's spirit is stirring in those hearts. You know? I want to talk to you also about the uh, big event coming up, uh, the 60th anniversary uh, on September 18th. Maybe describe for our friends here tonight uh, what's, what's happening at camp that day and uh, what we're celebrating. Yeah, so we do our normal uh, harvest celebration in, uh, it's on the 18th of September. And this year we're going to do it a little bit earlier in the day. It's going to be at 2 o'clock. We'll do some, uh, just some of the activities. We can sit by and kayak. So we just kind of open that up to uh, the community, and we'll do a supper. We're actually going to do a small, short program, and then the supper. So normally it's in the evening, but this year it'll be in the afternoon, and we just do them a longer event. So we'll be, it's a combination, I guess, of uh, our, the normal harvest celebration, but also uh, the 60th uh, anniversary, which is what we're going to And I'm working with uh, Michael Bergen. Uh, what's Michael's role there? Camp, uh, program coordinator. Okay. So, uh, so one of the uh, uh, things that Michael and I are working on is looking back at those 60 years of the first 40 at Carberry Bible Camp and then the latest 20 uh, up on the hill there at Valley View. And so we're looking kind of at history. So I know there's a bit of a history here tonight. And if you've worked at one of those camps and have some memories and stuff that you can share with me, I'd love to talk to you after uh, because we want to kind of uh, grab those uh, memories from back you know, back in the 60s, 70s, 80s, and so on. I mean, I kind of came on, you know, I'm kind of familiar with the history from 80 on kind of thing, but uh, if you've got some history from before that, I'd love to talk to you after about that. Any other thoughts, Henry, you want to share before we uh, get the quartet back up? Well, you have photos or uh, t-shirts or something from the, yeah. from the 70s or anything like that. I know some people hang on to things longer than I so. Good. Well, I'd love to see it. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Henry. Uh, Henry is uh, director at Valley View Bible Camp. All right. Uh, we're going to call the ushers forward. I think we've got a couple of ushers in the house. Thank you so much uh, to the ushers for helping out. And uh, the uh, offering today, I'll just explain just briefly, uh, is to the Ministry Resource Center of uh, One Hope Canada. 
And uh, so basically it's to enable us to stand behind the frontline ministries, the camps, in a supportive way. And uh, so that's what the offering is going for tonight. And uh, it basically enables uh, us to support the frontline ministries, people like Henry and our other close to 200 missionaries across the country in uh, some 35 Bible camps across Canada. So if you're making out a check, just fill it out to One Hope Canada. Uh, there's also credit card options and that kind of thing. And um, yeah, is that, is that clear? Is any question?